Britain's newest and most progressive prison has been officially opened by the Home Secretary. It's at Coldingham. Although there are locks, steel bars, cells and guards, that's where the similarity with any other prison ends. For Coldingley, in the words of Mr. Callahan, is not so much a step forward as a leap into the future. Each inmate has his own cell, but it's not until 9 p.m. that he's locked in for the night. In other prisons, 4 o'clock is curfew time. At Coldingley, prisons welcome the chance to relax after a good day's work. And work is what the prison's all about. For at this jail, a 40-hour week is expected of every man. There are three main industries from which the men can choose their jobs and earn up to a maximum of 33 shillings a week. There are no guards in the workshop, only civilian overseers. But there must be a fair day's work from every man. The penalty for slacking is the sack and direction into a lower paid job. Strikes, not surprisingly, are not permitted. The incentive for hard work is high prison wage, which can be spent at the well-stocked shop on food, luxuries or other items which can make the time pass more pleasantly. Codingly, which is an experimental prison, costs more than one and a half million pounds. If it works, there'll be more like it.